enough, with the Burger Van doing a roaring trade, the hot topic pre-match was of one man. Exciting times at the club with Brian Gunn and the new changes and the playing stuff as well. So I'm looking forward to three points today and we certainly need it. 2-1 to Bristol, I think. We've been to watch them away to Bristol and they've, and, and they've won 2-1 every time. Hmm, what did he know? Bristol City started brightly. Cole Scoos unmarked made it 1-0. The Canaries were soon level. Cole Court hit the upright. Jonathan Grounds couldn't believe his luck. To the controversy, David Marshall scuffed his clearance, Gary Doherty brought down Daly Adebola. Penalty, red card, referee Andy Durso not a popular man, Bradley Orr made it 2-1. The second half's major talking point again revolved around the ref. This time penalty appeals were waved away and Brian's gunny moon period was over. There's only three people in the picture on the, on the TV screens and, um, you know, well, I can't see it's a penalty kick, I don't know. So, um, disappointed. Um, and aggrieved, but um, you know we've got to dust ourselves down and, and, and get ready for next week's game. There was two clear penalties. There was one in the first half and there was one in the second. How the jury one wasn't given, I don't know. City played really well today, but I think the referee really let us down today. I think the right team won on the day, even though we do support Norwich. No, 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 no. Yes. That wasn't a penalty. <laughs> that was not a penalty, and Doherty should not have been sent off. Ipswich also suffered a setback courtesy of a striker from Trinidad in a Welsh shirt called Scotland.